This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. May Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakudash, Brakdom, to use a quanium, Waakim Waakwaf. You know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord, and our Savior, and our King, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we are living in. This brother Peshai, Ban Yahshua Allah. And this be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. On how we are being made clean by the washing of the word, man. All right. Spiritual baptism. All right. By the Holy Spirit and by fire, affliction, chastisements, trials, tribulation. Now, it's the spirit how I came across this lesson because I didn't have a topic to go into. But I have um, a Holy Bible app which gives you daily verses. All right. And as I'm reading through the daily verses, um, I noticed three words in each of the daily verses. All right. And it was cleanse. All right. And I was spiritual because we're approaching the Pesach, the Passover, where we have to um, purge out any leaven that may be within us. All right. That we eat and drink of the Passover worthily because we don't want to do it unworthily. All right. That's a terrifying thing. So I'm going to read some of these precepts and I was going to roll through the spirit because you know, that's really what inspired this lesson and also just meditating upon the word. All right. The rivers of living water and how we being made clean through the word. And who is that word? Let's get these precepts now. Straight into it through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Let's start off with John, the first chapter, verse one. It says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. All right. So in the beginning was the word. That word is Yahweh Shai. Jump down to verse 14. It says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory as the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. All right. And scripture say what? Grace and truth. All right. Watch this. In the book of John 1 to 17. <laughs> Reading a little more down, it says, For by the law was given, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shamashiach. So he was that word made flesh. So back to verse 1 in John. In the beginning was the word Yahweh Shai, and the word was with the power, was, was with the Most High. So the word was with the Most High, was with Yahweh. In the book of Genesis, it lets you know that. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. All right. The Most High's name Yahweh was a mention to the second chapter of the book of Genesis. So who was doing all the creating? It was Yahweh Shai and Allah Hayim. And after the blueprint, the Father gave him. All right. And the word was a power. Okay. So he was also a God, a power, Allah Hayim, uh, Allah, which means power. Okay, so proving that what he's that word. So back to the Psalms 119 and verse 9. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Let's read it again. Psalm 119 and verse 9. It says, Beth, which thou be um Bath or Bath, I believe Bayath. All right, that's the second because it starts with this. Psalm 119 starts with you know Alap. All right, um uh goes down to Ah, Ba, Gada, so on and so forth. So right here it starts says Beth, which if I'm not mistaken, Bayath, which means a house. All right. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. So that's how we get cleansed in these last days, by taking heed to the word of the Most High, which is Yahweh Shai. So hearken unto Yahweh Shai. So I have a few precepts lined up. All right. Let's get them. Let's start with Matthew, right? Let's go to Matthew 3 and verse 11. It says, and this is John the Baptist, right? I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Man. All right. So Yahweh Shai is baptizing us with the Holy Spirit and with fire, the afflictions. We're being partakers of his sufferings. So this was this is what's cleansing us. All right. Back to the Most High God, Yahweh. All right. Is our Lord Yahweh Shai and walking that straight, narrow path. All right, all the sovereignty did for the children of Israel being an ultimate sacrifice for our sins. All right, now we have to, um, you know, of course, believe on him and, and take up our cross daily. 
Okay? So this is the spiritual baptism. All right? The washing. Let's get that in on the book of 1 John. All right? 1 John, I believe it's chapter 1, I want. Yeah. Let's read this right fast. 1 John chapter 1, and I want verse uh, 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Hamashiach, Yahushua, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. His blood is it was cleansing us. All right. So us taking heed to him. Look at John. This whole chapter is good. Look at John, the 15th chapter, verse like 2, I think. John 15, verse 2, it says, Now are ye clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So we're being made clean by the word that Yahweh shall spoken to us, man. He is that word, Osman. He was speaking the word of the Most High, and he's that word made flesh. All right? So us taking heed into him. Okay? Matter of fact, look at the transfiguration through the Spirit. Matthew 17, and straight to the point. Verse 5, while he yet speak, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, a chariot. And behold, a voice out of the cloud was said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. And Yahweh Shai came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. All right. So the Most High God Yahweh spoke to the top men, the top apostles, top disciples, Peter, James, John, and told them what? This is my beloved son, Yahweh Shai. Because remember, they saw Moses and Elias. Moses represented the law, Elijah represented the prophets. All right. But Yahweh Shai is greater than all. Okay. So he's the most high saying, now nah, this is the guy. This is who Moses prophesied about in Deuteronomy 18, chapter verse 18. Okay. Let's get um this precept right here, right? People with me out here while I got this loading up. So I pray this, you know, a quick edifying lesson through the spirit, man. You know, we gotta be cleansed in these last days. Let's get the book of um there's so many scriptures to get because understanding, you know. The evil seed being implanted in Adam from the beginning, I and mean, that triggered on down to all men, all right, going even further on down the line to the main point I want to bring out is the, the sons of God, the Israelites, us, the so called blacks, Latino, and the Americans, all right, we're filthy. But Yahweh Shai, he's cleansing us through his blood, all right, we've been cleansed by the washing of the word, which he is that word, believing on that word, all right. So let's get the book of, um, yeah, let's read this. Let's go back to John. Let's get Job, as a matter of fact. Job 15. We're going to start at verse um, uh, 14. What is man that he should be clean, and which is born of a woman that he should be righteous? Behold, he putteth not trust in his saints. Yea, the heavens are not clean in his sight. How much more abominable and filthy is man with drinking iniquity like water? So we're going, we're being brought from, uh, from uh, filthiness. Unto being perfect, being washed and cleansed by the word, man. All right. So Job is saying it, man. Man is unclean. All right. We're abominable and filthy. We go off. We make mistakes countlessly. You see, but we'll all be made cleansed. And only the Israelites ultimately being made cleansed, you know, by the blood of Yahweh Shai. Us believing in the word, which is Yahweh Shai. Look at the book of Isaiah, the 64th chapter, verse 6. It says, but we are all as an unclean thing. And all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. And we are all and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like a wind, he taken us, have taken us away. Okay. So all our even our righteousness, you know, is as filthy rags, man. That's what the scripture is going to us not being able to boast. Like it says, um, we're unprofitable servants. We have done what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to do these things. We're supposed to fear the Most High. We're supposed to keep the commandments. We're supposed to be hurt to righteous acts. We're supposed to have brotherly love. We're supposed to teach as men that's been called to this thing. I got the knowledge and the wisdom to preach the gospel. We're supposed to do those things. All right? But we're still as unclean. We're still filthy, man. But we're being made cleansed through Yahusha. And also, if you're of the elect, lower than we are of that number. All right? If we're of that number, the elect. We are without fault before the throne of the Most High, meaning all our iniquities and sins are already forgiven. Okay? That's important to remember as well in this journey and this walk of ours, man. So I just pray this lesson could be uplifting to the hopeful elect out there, man. Keep going on that, that straight path. Let's get this right fast. Sirach 22 and verse 1. A slothful man is compared to a filthy stone, and everyone will hiss him out to his disgrace, man. 
So you can't be slothful in this thing. The scriptures, you know, our Lord Yahushua commanded us to cast off all slothfulness and ne uh, negligence. We have to be about his work, man. Okay? We have to be about his word, bringing out the word. All right? So another quick precept. I had a few lined up, like I said, through the spirit, man. All right? Uh, Salakia, what, what, what I want? Right here. This is what I want. Sirach 38, and it started verse um, 9. It says, My son, in thy sickness be not neg neg negligent, but pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee, Salakia, and he will make thee whole. Leave off from sin in order thy hands aright, and cleanse thy heart from all wickedness. And how you do that? By the word, man. All right, leave off from your sins, your dark ways. Order thine hands are right. Start so doing the righteous works and cleanse your heart, your mind from all wickedness, man. Because we always want to, you know, of course, in the world as heathens, as Gentiles, and we're coming back into this knowledge and this wisdom and through grace and uh, from giving by the most side through his son, Yahweh Okay? Let's read this. 2 Corinthians verse 7, verse 1. Having therefore these promises, daily beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of the Most High. So we got to perfect holiness in the fear of the Most High. Well, that, that's wisdom. All right. First thing, as ultimately, I'm going to see how it was shot. First thing created. All right. The firstborn among uh, all creatures. Yahweh was shot. All right, let's go back to First John, uh, the first chapter. I want to read on down, right? So read verse 7 again. It said, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Yahweh Shammashiach, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So we have to confess our iniquities. Confess those. Don't hide it. That's pride. Departing from your maker. All right. I don't go off, man. I'm perfect, man. I'm good. Nah, nah man. Our Lord Yahweh Shah said, this. look at this priest very quick in the book of um, Luke, the 22nd chapter and verse. Uh, uh, I always forget where this is at. Let me see. Salakia. I know how to find it. Uh, Justified. Rather, if I'm not mistaken, Luke 18. All right, Luke 18 and verse um 9. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, The Most High, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican, which is a tax collector. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, so he basically boasted in his, in his works, or his works of the law. He boasted in those things. Verse uh, 13. Basically, he boasted in the things he's supposed to do. Verse 13. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, Yahweh, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. So confessing your sins. Let's go back to First John and end it off. First John 1, we re reverse uh, 9 again. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So if you say you know sin, his word is not in you. Yahweh shall not dwell in with you. He's not subbing with you, man. Because you think you could do it on your own. You need to go bypass your Yahweh Shai and go straight to the Father. All right? You're making him a liar. And his word don't dwell with you, man. So what's cleansing us? The word. Let's get that precept now. The word is what's cleansing us, man. Okay? Let's get that in the book of, um, I believe it was John as well. Let me see. Uh, bear with me, Aki. Um, no, actually, it's in Ephesians. But let me read this very fast. James 4, verse 8. This is a good one. It says, verse 7. Submit yourselves. This whole chapter is good, man. So verse 6. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, The most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the most high. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to Yahweh, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. 
Be afflicted and mourn. That's the that's the spiritual baptism. The fire. Affliction. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up, man. All right? So that's what you want. We want Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah to lift us up. So we have to go through the spiritual baptism, which is greater than John's baptism. Which John's baptism was a beautiful thing. Don't get it twisted, but this is, is greater than that. All right? Ephesians 5 in verse... Uh, Let's jump down to the point right here. Verse 25, it says, let's start verse 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Hamashiach, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Hamashiach also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it by with the washing of water by the word, man. The washing of water by the word. So he's cleansing us. We're the church. All right. Each camp represents a different... Uh, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Sanctuary of the church, man. All right. So it's not about. Man, let me read this very fast, man. You can't boast in your own words, things that are nature. Now you got to have faith in Yahweh Shai, man. He's cleansing us. All right. Let's get Psalms 19 and verse 12. It says, who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults, man. We need to be cleansed from even secret faults. Things we did wrong that we didn't even know we was doing wrong. Verse 13, keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the, the from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, my strength and my redeemer. So we want Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, to be pleased, you know, with, our, with the meditation of our hearts and the words of our mouths, man. Things we think about, ponder on, the things that we say, all right, our doctrine, teaching correctly. Things in the nation, also on our day to day walks, man. All right, we're Israelite twenty four seven. We're servants of Yahweh Bashi twenty four seven. We got to fear Yahweh Bashi twenty four seven. It don't stop, man. Okay. From there, let's get the book of um. Jeremiah thirty three and verse eight. Let's read this very fast. It says, "And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity." So he's getting ready to cleanse. We starting this, starting right now through son Yahweh Shah, the word, the washing of the word. And I'll cleanse them from all their iniquity whereby they have sinned against me. And I'll pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me, man. So you getting ready to what? Redeem us, man. Starting with the elect, Lord willing, of that number, the elect. It's all through Yahweh Shai. They're even being redeemed back to the Father. Okay? So let's get this. Uh, there's so many more priests I could get. But I'm going to get like two more and close it out. All right? Yeah, this is this is good too. Let's end it up with this one right here. You know, something quick, straight to the point. Let's end it off with the book of um Isaiah fifty five. Let's read Isaiah fifty five. All right. Isaiah fifty five and verse six. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, which is right now. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. He will pardon what? Your transgressions and sins. So come out of those dark ways, all right? And go into the paths that leads to everlasting life, which is the path that's cleansing us. Yahweh Shai. He's the word. We're being washed by the word. And also being gathered by the word. Let's end it up with that. In the book of um, Baruch, the fifth chapter, in verse uh, 5. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high and look about toward the east. And behold, thy children gathered from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of the Most High. So all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Shai. We got these secrets. We understand these things. All right. We are being made clean by the washing of the word, being brought from filthiness to being cleansed. And ultimately, we're going to be changed in the twinkle of an eye to the new, perfect, immortal bodies all through Yahweh, Shai. All right. So with that. Let's give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechak, 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 Rechak,